Oh, oh man. They all saw me. 10 to start. Oh. Oh, wow. One shot, One shot you're dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> or maybe you should just run through the whole thing, see what happens, how far you can get. Not very far, I see. Go up, go up, see what's up. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to go this way. Uh, which one do you hear? I'm just going to go for it! He suicided you! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Nerd Confessions review. Today we're looking at Rogue Contracts Syndicate. This game was greenlit by Steam Greenlight Program and is currently listed on Steam for $8. It is done by a small indie developer company named Godark Studios. Looking for their other work, this is the only game we could find despite them listing themselves as a mobile developer. So we assume this is their first real project. The options for the game are very simple. You have hard mode, normal and volume controls. There's no real other controls to speak of. The description of the game list on Steam praises the game as a jump out of your seat action game with a gripping backstory. Story definitely is not the game's strong suit. All the characters are cliche and they appear to be going for a Metal Gear like tone with the storytelling which falls flat due to poor character development. The facilities are bigger and the soldiers better trained. Oh boy, a better trained soldiers, can you imagine? Oh man. I haven't heard anything That's from Southwest. Amanda. I know, what happened to Amanda? She's gonna be the cool assistant. Where the strength of the game is, is in its gameplay. It's a top-down shooter which requires a mouse and keyboard, but we were able to get it to work with the Steam controller and it worked pretty well. For a more recent gameplay comparison, it plays much like Hotline Miami, but much more rooted in stealth. The game has a total of 16 levels and 3 boss battles. The boss battles seem a bit lacking, but add a much needed change in pace from the standard gameplay. Depending on your skill level, the game can take about 4 hours to play through. Beside the story, another weakness of the game is the art design. It seems to be going for a smooth, futuristic look. Some describe the game as cyberpunk, but in my opinion it seems far too clean to be described as that. The smooth gradient textures look like they were pulled straight from deviant art. Oh shit. Oh. Ah. Ah. There's a lot of height. <laughs> I thought it was. It's a table apparently. It's kind of hard to tell what these graphics are trying to show. I know. I can't like, tell what, what the hell this is. Is that supposed to be like a little stairway? Or, like... I remember there was like a table before. Yo, look at his feet. I was gonna say maybe they were more technical, but this shows me that maybe not so much. Like well, it was it's just very their... basic. It's not. I mean, it's, it can be fun, but the art is really bad. In yeah, the... that's what I mean. Like the the actual like play, as you said, is they would have fun. They would have benefited more from something like not so realistic. I think like like little futuristic robot looking things fighting other like little blobs. pixelated stuff like little blobs or something yeah. like what what is this place it all just looks like a void where the hell am i looks like you're on a chip and you're just within the see they could have taken some more creative freedom if that's the case because like is this all concrete what the hell's going on to summarize the overall experience the game has to offer i would say it can be fun especially playing with friends passing the controller as you die but don't go into the game expecting to be engrossed in its world. We give it a Nerd Confessions ranking of 6 out of 10. The game can be hard to recommend over games like Hotline Miami, especially at the $8 price point, when you can get Hotline Miami for $9. But if you love this genre of game and are looking for more content, give it a try. We saw you through the door. How do you see you through the door? Cause he's a red ninja. <laughs> okay, okay, I see how 
it is. I'm going for him first. Let's see what happens. That's all for today. Like the video if you liked it, guys. Dislike it if you hate everything. Subscribe to the channel if you can, and we'll see you guys next time.